let's say this is the center 0 comma 0 is the center all right let us try doing something first let let me keep the pen down out for now from center i want to draw a point let's say at value 100 100 is my radius to draw that from the center position i want my cat to move 100 steps right? and we all know how to do that right it's 100 steps here move 100 so it will go by 100 steps as if i click here you will see it has gone by 100 steps but then to be able to draw my next point i have to again get him back towards the center how will i get him back towards the center obviously one way to do that is i can always say you know go to 0 comma 0 and yes it comes back to the position but that may not be what i want to do like for example i might not want it to always start from 0 comma 0 i i may want it to draw the circle from here from this position but what happens obviously with the first step, let us try doing this one by one. With the first step, it will go 100 steps from there. So I can put a point there. But when it will try to do, go to 0, 0, it will actually not come back where it has started. So how do I get the cat back? And, and the idea behind there is, remember this, if 100 steps, moving 100 steps means taking it forward, then how do I get him back? Is obviously by saying the negative value of it. So minus 100 will get him back. Remember, negative simply means exact opposite. So if 100 means going forward, negative means coming backward. Right? Let's give this a try. I, let's move the cat here. Moving 100 steps, moves it forward. Moving minus 100 steps exactly gets him back where he has started. Let us try some other position here. Move 100 steps. Move minus 100 steps exactly where it has started. Let us do something else. Let us change its direction. Right? Move 100 steps. Move minus 100 steps exactly where it has started. And this is exactly what we would use in our step. So let us first define what our step should be to draw a point. Right? Uh, but all for for our simplicity's sake, let us point in the direction. And and while we while we are at it, let us start from 0, comma 0. We can obviously change this wherever we want later. So what do we want to do, right? We want to go to the first step that is 100 by 100. And after doing that, we want something else to happen. We want it to draw a dot there, right? So we'll say pen down. I'm currently not putting them in sequence. I want to do a pen down. So let's again, start from 0 comma 0 what i want how do i now draw that point at like you know uh, 100 radius from the center is i first need to go to those 100 steps so i go to that 100 step then i will say pen down and then i will come back but oh you know there was a problem it drew me a line i, I don't want a line so obviously after saying pen down and putting the point i also want to say pen up Right, so let us uh, uh, give this sequence a try. And let us see whether that works. So move 100 steps, pen down, pen up, and move 100 steps back. I'm not sure whether you can see it, but there is a dot there, right? What I will do is I'll also try to increase uh, maybe the pen size, set pen size to maybe I will say 10, right? If I just click on this and do the same steps again, pen down, pen up, and now you see that there's a dot over there. So what do I need to do next? I need another point at a different angle for the same radius. So what I need to do then is I need to change its angle by that value. So what we will say now is rotate by let's say just one degree, right? Rotate by one degree, move 100 steps, pen down, pen up, move 100 step back. It we have another point there. Again, rotate by one degree, move 100 steps, pen down, pen up, move back. 
and if we keep doing this we'll get our circle right as you can see it is already drawing the circle for us and we are always drawing it from the center because we are getting the cat back let us put this whole thing in a loop that repeats how many times we are doing one uh, we are all at, at all steps we are changing it by 1 degree right how many degrees are there in a circle 360 we need to do it 360 times and we will get our circle so what i will do is probably i'll just give this for us to make uh, a visibility of it and this should this is exactly what should happen uh, turn by 1 degree pen down move 100 steps pen down pen up move back right let us put this in in a sequence that repeats 360 times so how do we do that remember we just did put our structure i'll call this as my circle so circle and remember the structure we define a block we take the steps parameter steps as the input number of steps right okay and i have just taken circle defined this uh, block called as a circle it takes this particular steps what is the other uh, thing that we talked about we go to control and we put if else condition what do we do there we check if steps is equal to 0 right and when it is not if it is 0 we don't do anything because that is the point we stop if it is not equal to 0 then we put the whole thing that we decided to do earlier and we call our circle block again here and what should be the value of steps be right the value of steps should be step minus 1 exactly same structure as what we did for uh, when we tried to do pentagon sorry polygon right we just called it uh, a repeat block but this is exactly going to work it out for us let us give this a try let us go to blocks again let us move circle and let us say 360 we want this to happen 360 times and there you go it's drawing it for us from the center as you can see it's actually drawing it to us from the center and i just got a circle right i can i can increase the size of my circle maybe what i can do is i can also take this step value that you see here as another input and call it radius right we can do that let us go here let us add another input and let us say radius right and all we need to do is move first by radius amount and how do we now say minus of radius well one easiest way to do that is subtract subtract from 0 right 0 minus radius so here we are going by radius amount and we are coming back so if i say radius to be 50 it will draw me a very small circle it might not be visible right there but if i just hide it yeah it is there so very small circle right let let us say uh, the radius to something like 100 right did we do something wrong we are turning ah i didn't pass the uh, radius again here because you have added a new input i need to move this here yes so now it is doing for me at 100 let it finish 100 let us reduce the uh, uh, radius amount and let us see what happens yes and it stopped after this is just step so let us say 50 and there you go i would have two circles now one smaller and one bigger exactly the way we wanted right so let us quickly try putting this one after the other and let us see what happens one of 50 one of uh, 100 i'll stop this for now i'll edit it and i'll say run without screen refresh right and i'll hide the cat what should happen i get two circles right or maybe i can draw one dot in between also and it will look like a, a bullseye but uh, uh, 
this is how we draw a circle from the center and and i know exactly what the center point is so what is interesting about this approach is is this will work anywhere right let me actually remove this go to xy and move the cat here and it will draw it there you can move the cat here and it will draw it there and it will always draw it from the center at right? current position of the cat will always become at center position 